Hi guys, so today I am drawing Sadie from the cartoon show Steven Universe. If you're not familiar with Steven Universe, it is a cartoon, like I just said, about, um, hmm, it's complicated, uh, but I'll sum up the show the best I can. It is a coming age story about, um, a little boy who is half alien space rock, half human, and he's being raised by his father and these space women. Um, and learning how to, learning about the gym war and his history and history the gyms had with Earth and how to be a, just a regular human too and how to like learn how to use his powers and yeah, I don't want to say too much because then, like, it gets spoilery. Because I'm not current, current. Because I think, like, of the past five episodes or four or three, two, I don't know. Cartoon Network put some out early online, so people have already seen it. And, I mean, my DVR records stuff, so I don't really want to. I'm trying to do better with, now that I have access to cable again and a DVR, I'm trying to make sure I watch my shows either live or a day or so after I record them so I can help, what's that word, I can legally watch the shows. Yes, I'm trying to make sure I legally watch my shows because yes, the internet does have everything up. It's those episodes I haven't seen are probably already up. I want, if it's content I enjoy that someone's creating that I feel is unique and original, I want to support it. Unless it puts me in the fucked up headspace, like Supernatural. But, we're not going to talk about that. This is Steven Universe. Let's get this talk whatever it happy. Materials I'm using today are my water water brush pen from Ninji. No, I don't. You want me to pronounce it? I can't, so. Nah. Um, uh, my watercolor palette, I think it's like a graphic art travel watercolor palette. I don't know. I really like it. Um, the only drawbacks I have is that the, um, the watercolors are in these pans that kind of like pop out and move around. And I lost one. And it was the color I like to use the most for like skin tones and stuff. So, and they're not labeled. So I don't know what color it is to even replace it. I was this close to just buying a whole nother palette. But then I was like, you don't even use your watercolors like that. Stop wasting money on art supplies that you're not going to use. By the way, I think I need to use watercolor more often because the watercolor aspect of this drawing is what I don't like. Um, the last thing I watercolored I really like, but this one, but I think that's because I like, took my time on it and I put more effort into it. This one, I was just... The references I looked up for the background of these, it didn't have that much, um, de it had detail, but it didn't have the, like, hmm, it didn't, it had, it wasn't the focal point. I want the focal point to be Sadie. However, I feel with trying to make Sadie the focal point, I probably should, I, I didn't want to use, I don't have any refills for my Copics other than the skin tone ones. So I didn't want to use up all of my ink on doing a complex background. So I was like, oh, I can use watercolor. I don't use watercolor that often. Yeah, and you can tell I don't use it that often. Doesn't look good. Like now that it's dry, I feel better about it, but I don't know. I don't, I don't like seeing my brush strokes. And because I like clays with thick, heavy, um, layers of paint down instead of just building it up with levels of water, levels of paint. Because I don't like waiting for paint to dry because it's fucking annoying. And I've seen people do it with like a blow dryer. But I also, I, my paper is overly saturated. So I feel like if I tried to do it with a blow dryer, I would just blow paint everywhere. 
that wouldn't be a good time. So I just said fuck it. And here we are. I think next time if I'm like, because my wallet color isn't as um, rich or isn't as solid of coloring as I am with the markers, I might just do the whole thing watercolor. I thought the earth should just scrap this one and redo the whole thing in watercolor, but I'm not because when I was still doing her skin in Copic because I don't, like I said, the paint I use to make skin tone has went missing. So, yeah. Um, other than I probably should start doing swatches so I can keep a better track of what color. Like, I knew when I grabbed this marker, huh, Sadie's shirt may be a bit lighter than this. And I do have a marker that's lighter than this that I could use for this. But I, it's my twin touch marker. And I don't feel like pulling those out. Keep in mind they were not that far away from me. But then I was like, I'm not going to post this. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I decided after looking at it dry for a while that I'm going to post it anyway. Um, yeah. Coping markers, twin touch, and I can't remember. I know I used a brush pen. I'm going to end this now because apparently I've been talking too long because the recording just kind of tells off. Also, I decided to end the laptop, so that's not happening. Um, you know, the usual, like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Post it every other week. You know, 